Yo, what is up, y'all? Welcome back to another video. And yeah, as you can see by the title, I'm gonna be doing a little guide video on how to get Super Saiyan 1, 2, and 3 pretty easily, alright? So, uh, yeah, without any further ado, let's get straight into the video. This world shall know pain. Alright, so here we are. Basically, I'm going to be showing you guys how you guys can get Super Saiyan 1 to 3. Um, here are the skills right here. Super Saiyan 1, pressing 7, use an M-Sub, blah, 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 blah. Super Saiyan 2 right here, yada, 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 and Super Saiyan 3. Alright, so basically, I'm going to be showing you guys what they look like first. So I think uh, 7 is for Super Saiyan 1, and yeah, my Super Saiyan 1 to 2 looks pretty bad. I don't know why I have this custom hair. And no glow. Yeah, it's tough. It's really tough. So that's Super Saiyan 1. It's Super Saiyan 2. And Super Saiyan 3. And my hairline is really moved back for this one. So yeah, most of the time you basically get either Trunks, Gohan, or Goku, or Kefla, Kefla's hair. Uh, or you get mine, which is just, as you guys saw before, it was pretty bad. Basically, um, what they do, they amp up your BP. And I feel like they actually amp up your speed slightly, I'm not sure. But yeah, the Super Saiyan 3 gives 1.9, which is pretty good. Which is like, actually better than the Jiren's form. Um, the only one, uh, the only form that's better than this is, I think, I'm, I'm pretty sure the Beerus one. And if I'm, maybe Acrosian, I'm not sure about the Acrosian one though. But maybe, I don't know. But yeah, Super Saiyan 3 is like one of the best uh, forms in the game right now. But yeah, how do you get it? It's pretty easy actually. As in like almost anything in this game, how to get stronger, you are going to need somebody to leech off. Because if you don't have anybody to leech off, you might as well not do this guy. Because it's going to take way too long, right? Like I don't even know, like it's impossible to get strong without leeching off anyone in this game to be honest. Yeah, if you're going to follow all of these steps correctly uh, and you try really hard, you can pretty much get Super Saiyan 1 in like the first day like if you try really hard you can get it in the first day super saiyan 2 and 3 are a challenge though like they'll they'll take a while they'll really take a while and besides plus also um when you actually use these forms i forgot to tell y'all you actually get like a full hp boost so if you use it at like 10 or 15 percent you get all your hp back but yeah there are these um let me go over here real quick. there are the life pods in earth and vegeta now i honestly i would recommend doing this if uh in uh earth because the spawn is basically always near this place. Vegeta is like really all around the place. And a lot of Majins come there. But yeah, basically what you want to do, you want to tell the person, all right, let's spar. And you guys just spar and spar. And hopefully he gets you like low and basically grips you. Now, hopefully you have someone that is willing to grip you. Turns on lethal blows because a lot of people don't want to go to hell. So it's going to be really hard to find someone. But he basically just grips you and you will lose the life force. Now, when you're on like four to five life force, um you basically press t in his healing pod and you basically get your little senkai boost which is a lot basically it's really a lot now there's also a glitch going around which i will not tell you guys you can i'm pretty sure you can find it online or if you just speak to the right people which uh gives you way more bp than you're actually supposed to get now i'm not gonna uh, explain it to y'all because like i don't really want to ruin the community type shit and um yeah like you feel me i, I don't really want to show like a, a bug that you can abuse but you can find it out there if y'all really want to i just don't want to be the one to show y'all you know what i'm saying because a lot of, a lot of bullshit come with it yeah basically what you want to do is when you're like four to five percent life force you want to go in here also make sure he damages you to like 15 percent hp because i don't know for some reason people told me like if you're uh, below 15 and you go in these things you get even more now what you could also do is to speed up the process in the healing pot is when you're like in the healing pot you can press n and you just sleep in the healing pot will give you like double regeneration or something well, basically when you get your super saiyan um it will say oh i've like unlocked a new level of power or it's time to like reach further beyond or something um now when you reach these bps make sure to like um put your bp to like 10 percent so your homie can check it once you're like 65k or above you get super saiyan 1 165k and above is super saiyan 2 and i think 265 K for Super Saiyan 3. I'm, I might be wrong here, but those are like the BPs you want to get. But yeah, uh, let me show y'all what uh, the Super Saiyan forms actually do. So, but yeah, basically, what the Super Saiyan forms do, they give you immense power. When you get low and you use the Super Saiyan form, you basically go to full HP as well. So, uh, yeah, let me 
get this guy to lower me real quick. Yeah, it works for all forms. For Super Saiyan 1 to 2 to 3, you basically get a full HP boost. Now, obviously, you can't use all forms to get a full HP boost. Once you use one of them, uh, the, uh, the other ones will basically not do anything anymore. Like, they won't give the HP boost anymore, right? All right, there we go. All right, I'll just use my form right now. Oh, damn. Never mind. I already used it to get that HP buff. But, yeah, basically, um, as you guys just saw, my HP went down because I already used my HP buff. Now, this happens when you basically um, already used your buff and use another form to basically get there. Like, let's say I turn it off, my HP goes full, and I go to 8, it just goes back there. You see? It basically gives your HP back. Oh, let's kill this thing. This thing cannot be that strong, right? This server is laggy, too. Should be dead. You survived that? Alright. Might have to use Super Saiyan uh, 3 in a bit. But yeah, it should give you an HP buff unless you already used it. Which is also a pretty cool feature. And it makes you really strong. Like the Super Saiyan 3, it makes you crazy strong, bro. I'm just waiting for the cooldown to get off so I can use it. It's still on cooldown. But yeah, basically to do all these steps, you're going to need like a person to leech off and help you basically. And he's going to have to help you for an entire day. Because the Super Saiyan 1, you can get it in one day. But you're going to need someone to help you like the entire day type shit. Like it will take some time. Trust me. Oh, he's already dead. I didn't even need Super Saiyan uh, 3. Damn. But yeah, you can basically follow those steps to get the Super Saiyan pretty easily. Now, do watch out for margins. If they do ambush you, just log. Do not do not even get grips. Dude, you will lose a lot of BP. Just log when you see a margin. All right? Now, if you follow all these steps, you'll get Super Saiyan 1 pretty easily. And uh, yeah, I don't really have much else to say apart from, uh, yeah, good luck. Make sure to leave a like if this helps you. Comment. If you do know a better technique, let me know in the comments, matter of fact. And yeah, subscribe to the channel and I'm gonna see y'all later, man. Thank you for watching. Peace. Oh shit.